Hey everyone, this is Corey with Casual EDC, and today I'm just going to be giving you guys a little bit of a cut test and showing off the uh, cutting capabilities in the kitchen, specifically of the Koenig Arius. On my Instagram, which is at Stafford's EDC, I posted a picture where I used this as a butter knife, and not pictured, I also used it as a peanut butter spreading knife, and it worked fantastically because it has a nice and wide blade. So just opening this up here, this is an English cucumber, or a seedless cucumber, depending on what you want to call it. Same thing. It's a little bit mushy, so it's not too good to eat anymore. I'm going to give that a cut, and we're also going to do some grape tomatoes here. I don't have any full-size tomatoes. Me and my girlfriend are actually dog-sitting, so I'm not at my house right now. Uh, so I'm kind of working with what I have. We did bring these from home, and I'm only going to cut one or two tomatoes. But you have a hollow grind on the Koenig Arius. So it gets pretty thin behind the edge. I don't know if you can see that or not. I can't really see the screen on my phone, so hopefully you can tell, but it's pretty thin. And now uh, we're gonna see how it performs. So I'm not surprised at all that it slices right through and it's making good, easy chunks, you know, pretty thick chunks. Um, I'm gonna try and cut one as thin as I can and we'll see how thin I can get it. There's one, so it's pretty thin. I think I might be able to get a little thinner. It's hard not to drift a little bit while making a cut. And yeah, I think that's, that's about the thinnest we're gonna get right there. But generally speaking, it cuts really well. And the way that this handle is shaped, you can kind of pinch it, pinch grip it like a chef's knife and keep your hand out of the way. There's tons of belly on the Koenig Arius, so you can really slice with it. So as I go down, I can rock my hand back and out of the way. I hope you can kind of see that. So I'm going down, and I can rock and pull, like just like that. And now, just because they're a little bit softer, um, these are grape tomatoes here. I'm just gonna take two of them out. Uh, if you know anything about cutting tomatoes, you know, it's not the easiest thing to do without, um, without making a mess, really, or squishing the tomato in any kind of way. This has some soft spots, but it's decently firm. Same with this one here. A little bit of soft spots. But, uh, start. And it does definitely squish it a little bit. This is the factory edge that also has been used a little bit. Um, so this isn't perfect. It's not it's exactly from Koenig. Um, I bought this knife used, I have used this knife, and I didn't do any special sharpening or prep for this, but it cuts pretty well. Those two were really clean without much squishing at all, which is down at the heel of the blade here. Uh, it's the part I've definitely used the least, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get a slice out of it this way. No, I think it's going to want to slide. Um, yeah, no. Eh, there we go. So it's pretty sharp and it gets pretty thin behind the edge. So as you can see there, I did manage to take a slice out and I think it's gonna see it's there. No, it's not gonna happen. But it's pretty sharp. Not that you'd ever cut a cucumber like this, but hopefully that was in frame, but I'm just gonna go on like this. It cuts well. It slices really easily because it's so thin behind the edge. Um, especially for having a fairly decent blade stock. It's not the thinnest, but it's super not crazy thick, and it does thin out really nicely near the point, which I hope you can see. It you know, really comes to a nice fine point, which allows you to cut really well. You can chop if you wanted to. It's easy enough to keep your fingers out of the way with the way that this handle is designed. Kind of wrap around and work with it like that, and it works out really nicely. Um, don't worry, these, uh, as I said, these cucumbers and tomatoes will not go to waste. Uh, the dog is going to get some of the cucumbers. Um, dogs love cucumbers, from my experience, and I hope she's no different. If not, these will, the good parts will get eaten, and the bad parts will be thrown away. Same with the tomatoes. But overall, I think this is really good. If you needed it in the kitchen, it can definitely do the job for you. Um, it's not the ideal kitchen knife, obviously. But this had no problem cutting through these vegetables here 
and I did cut a piece of chicken earlier with it and it worked just fine for that. So if you guys have one of these laying around, um, which I know not many do, so I'm not saying that like, oh, you know, if you just have one of these, you know, 500 plus dollar knives laying around, I understand not many people have this, but sometimes knives that are big and maybe a little bit chunky that you wouldn't think perform well in the kitchen actually do. So go out and give a test, see if that thin edge will cut the way you think it does. And in this case, it cuts beautifully. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed I'm not gonna close this knife just because it is covered in cucumber juice, where I'd show off the action a little bit, but um, I need to give this guy a cleaning afterwards because I don't want this action to get all gritty and clogged up. Uh, thank you guys for watching though. Sorry for a little ramble there. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna be bringing you guys quite a few of these videos here in the kitchen. We're gonna be testing out a bunch of different knives on a couple different things. Uh, sorry for only having two examples today. I would have loved to have a carrot or something else a little bit harder, but two different vegetables here. And you can see it performed pretty well. So thanks again for watching and you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye now.